Hi, preschool. It's Mrs. Stevens. I'm just getting on today to uh, go ahead and share a Bible story with you all about Jesus and how he entered Jerusalem and how everybody was so excited to see him. They almost had a little parade. So we're going to go ahead and get started. We're going to read um, our Bible story. It does come from the Bible, even though it's just this little tiny book. Somebody took all the words and they made some pictures for it so that we can enjoy it. So here we go. It's called Jesus Enters Jerusalem. In spring of each and every year, God's people came from far and near to tell what their great God had done, to shout the victory he had won. Let's praise our Lord who set us free from Pharaoh and from slavery. You've saved us, God, the people sang. Along the road, their glad song rang. As Jesus neared the city gate, he paused and asked his friends to wait. He looked at them and said, hey, you too. I have a job for you and you. Go to the village over there. Look for two donkeys, colt and mare. Untie them and bring them here to me. I need them, as you soon will see. If someone tries to stop you, say, the master sent us here today. He needs the colt. Please let us do what our Lord Jesus told us to. So, off the two disciples sped, found everything as Jesus said. They untied the donkeys, walked away, and then a voice rang out, Wait, hey! But Jesus' friends knew what to do. The master sent us here today. He needs the colt. Please let us do what our Lord Jesus told us to. The donkey's owner nodded. Then he sent the colt with Jesus' men. They hurried back up towards the road to find the Lord as they'd been told. The little donkey walked along into the city while the song that told of God's great love rang out and Jesus heard the people shout. Hosanna, Jesus, you're our king. Hosanna, save to you we sing. Hosanna, praise, we shout again. Hosanna, praise, amen, amen. Then someone cut a palm branch flag, and someone else began to drag his outer cloak upon the street, right under Jesus' donkey's feet. The Savior knew that this glad song would turn to hate before too long. He knew what he in love would, would do to save all the people, me and you. He saw the cross. He knew that there, our loneliness and pain he would bear. Still on, he rode to death and grave and resurrection on to save. You've saved us, Lord. Today we sing, Hosanna, you're the Lord, our King. Hosanna, praise, we shout again. Hosanna, praise, amen, amen. And that's the end of our story today. It really is special, especially this page here. We can see God knew. God knew that Jesus, his son, was going to have to die. He knew that Jesus was going to have to die to take away all of our sins. Your sins, my sins. But we don't have to stay sad because we know something really special. Jesus was perfect. Always. And that means he was, he was God. He was God and he never, ever sinned. So when he died on the cross and he took all of our sins onto him, he was able to rise again. He beat death. He beat the devil. He was bigger and stronger than all of it. And we know he is our savior. He died for us and he's rose again and he's waiting for us in heaven so that we can be with him too. All we have to do is believe. 
Thank you for listening to my story. If you want to have some fun singing and dancing, go ahead and follow the link that I'll post right with this video. Um, it'll bring you to one of my favorites from my childhood. Uh, it's called The Donut Man, and he sings a song called Hosanna, and it's a lot of fun. It's all about just what we read, how Jesus enters on a donkey and how he died and rose to save us. So thank you for watching. I'll see you later. Bye.